You was walking around this party like you don't know what happens when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. The blunts go round, everybody getting drunk all night. You know we put it down, put it down all night. Hey, we go fuck around, fuck around. Oh, it's good. You never know until you're back again. Once again, and today, people, today we're for episode number 93 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. Set new records for Let's Play episodes here on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, we had our fourth, I believe, championship title defense going up against Gladion. I almost forgot. And in today's episode, we're going to see who decides to step up and challenge us next. If you guys are hyped, and of course, if you're proud, remember the Happy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, you know, can anybody let's play a game with the motherfucking Nappy Nation can. Super fast mode, ah! Super fast mode, ah! Super fast party recap. For those who don't know, if you do know, then I'm, I'm sorry for wasting these 15 seconds of your day. Uh, but we have Frankie, our Primarina at level 73. We have Yolanda, our Serena at level 70. Dorado, our Komoa at level 70. Cactus Jack, our Toxpex at level 70. Zion, our Solgaleo at level 70. And last but not least, we have Delilah, our Muzz at level 72. You know, we've led with uh, Primarina, we love it, Frankie, for all these matches. Let's leave it, Dorado. We always, Dorado seems to me like he's like that teenager. Like he, he's always there and he always tries so hard, but he only gets so far. It's time for him to grow up. Let's see who's stepping up now. Hello. Okay, I wasn't expecting a homeboy to slide through. I honestly wasn't. Like, like I said, the last episode, like I know of of a couple names that can show up. But I don't know everyone off the top of my head. I honestly sh I, I don't want to spoil it for myself, but I honestly should just sit down and like make a list and go through and so I know like when I'm done. Because there's gonna come a point where I'm sitting here, because like the only other person I know of is Sophocles. And I, I guess I should have seen Molane coming since Molane and Sophocles are like this. But and look, he even talks about Kakui. Molane and Sophocles are like this, Molane and Kakui are like this, and you only get to battle him once, so I guess it makes sense. But still, I should sit down and come up with a list so that I know what I've done, so I'm not just here soft resetting over and over and over and over and over again trying to find someone. Anyways, uh, I came to check on what Kakui has built, and the Pokemon League is fantastic. It's a place that conveys the awesomeness of Alola to the world. And in that case, I guess that's what's important to- that's- that's- that- I guess that- I guess that what's important, Jesus, and I guess that what's important is what kind of trainer the champion is. I was saying that weird. It's and I guess that what's important. It's all about where you put your pauses. Anyways, focus. <laughs> Pokemon trainer Molane. Now, if I remember correctly, he's a Steel type trainer, right? Because he had a, a Metang, and there's a Skarmory. God, K Kahili has a Skarmory, Molane has a Skarmory. Don't tell me this nigga has a Steel type Crobat. He's got an Alolan Crobat. This sucks for us. Jesus, this sucks. He's got a Brave Bird us. Uh, I'm gonna Dragon Dance. Because I think we can live one Brave Bird from a Skarmory. Because Skarmory's not like super offensive or anything. But yeah, Kamo Dorado, he always seems like that teenager on the squad. Where he's like, he's like, he's like just there. Just barely. He keeps, he keeps reaching and trying and, and struggling. And I tell him, just go all out. Yeah, he's kind of like Naruto. Alright, Brick Break is neutral. Well, can we kill? Yeah! Jesus! Stop setting up spikes! This isn't a Wi Fi battle! Leave me be! Oh, hell no. Molane, I'm not about to get dicked down by your entry hazards, you jackass. Ugh. Get that Skarmory up out. That was a crit. Good shit. Good shit, Dorado. Good shit. I wonder if him landing those crits is 100% due to refresh or because he has the scope lens. Because I feel like... Oh, he's got a sand slash. It was an ice type. Oh, that nigga's about to get... Yeah, it is because it's the ice steel. He's ice steel in this game. Oh. You sneaky steel type trainer. You, well, you are literally about to get fucking destroyed. That's quite effective, my boy. I don't care if we have dragon hands up or not. You're getting dicked down. You should have never brought this thing with you. What the fuck? But no, I was going to say... Like, like, for example, it's, it shows a crit just now. Like, does he always do that? Like, is do, that, do we only get crits because of refresh? Or does that animation still trigger and activate even if we get a crit from the scope lens? This thing has a Metagross. I swear to God, if this is a Mega Metagross, I'm going to shit my pants. Metagross is so awesome. I'm going to Brick Break him again. It's not a Mega. Yeah. Bro. Oh shit! Yo, we would have gotten blown back. We would have gotten blown away. Like I know about people watching are like, oh my god, refresh ruined this. You would have gotten blown away. Just look at that. 
That's fucking dope. You would have gotten blown away by that Zen headbutt, and you're right, you're right. But at the same time, it still gives you that that surge of adrenaline because it's like, holy shit, what could have been? Holy shit, what could have been? Because even if you just get blown back, I'm just gonna send out Mudsdale at that point, earthquake him. So Molane, my dude, you tried. Steel typing, steel typing. I will we out to out to bed. Steel typing is kind of like rock typing in my opinion. It doesn't make for a very good like leader squad or like a leader's typing, I guess. Like it's don't get me wrong. Like steel, I think steel typing works better than rock does because we discussed this when we took on Olivia in the rematch. Tangling hair. Our speed fell. Wow. Watch us get dicked by his last mod, <laughs> which is a magnezone. Bro, if this magnezone blows us away, do not blow me away. Do not blow me away, please and thank you. We out sped. Your tangling hair wasn't enough, but you have sturdy. Bro? Oh, dog. Big dog, you tried. You really did. But Dorado is here. And Dorado, Dorado actually came through as well. I'm so proud of my boy, my teenager, my little scrappy dude comes through. I'm so proud. I don't care what you guys got to say. You got to be proud of Dorado. You got to be proud. Yo, in the comment section right now, gas up Dorado. He did such a great job. Gas him up, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please gas him up. Pokemon trainer Molane. That Kakui, he discovered a great trainer. His hair looks like a rowlet. What the fuck? Only 6,000. I should have sent out Zion just for shits and giggles. Just as I'd expect from an acquaintance of Kakui's. I am too. I, I too am proud that you are the strongest Pokemon trainer in Alola. I'll try to come hang out again. Pokemon battles with you are more fun than any game! Aw, shucks. Shucks. But still, like I was saying, when we, we took on Olivia in the, in the Elite Four rematches, I was saying that rock typing just doesn't seem to be like a very good typing for like a leader to have because of how many weaknesses it has. I feel like Steel is the same way because I feel like Steel limits you so much in what you can do. I think Steel is a much better offensive and even defensive typing than Rock. It's just a better typing in general in my opinion. Uh, but still, it just feels like, I don't know. It just feels like you can't build a, I don't know. It's probably one of those things where I'm thinking about it like right now in the moment and if I actually sat and like really put some thought and effort into it, you probably could make a really threatening Steel team. But it is what it is. Anyways, Mulane was our fifth title defense. Our fifth title defense. Question is, who's going to show up next? Can anyone topple the streak? It's like we're the Undertaker at WrestleMania. We're defending our fucking streak. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Sun and Moon, and of course, if you're proud, remember more than happy nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, you know, can't nobody let's play again with the motherfucking nappy nation can. I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you all for your support, and thank you for checking the video. We out this bitch. Bye!